murder puts me in the mood. Alright, so the sound's still there. Uh, like, it sucks. So I'm just gonna do a rundown of the car, update you guys, like always, and then I'm probably gonna work on a couple things in the car that I just wanna tidy up and, I don't know, fix up. And so we can get the hoist, because I have to go pick that up today or tomorrow or sometime this week. I'll figure it out. If you haven't been on the channel for long, you've never seen the actual, like, inner workings of the custom fuse and relay panel that I made, or, like, any of the wiring behind it. So I'm going to kind of just show you guys because you don't really see any of this with the dash on. Uh, this is my tag harness. Obviously, we've got starter wires for the starter motor. Uh, brake light switch right here. Bunch of wires running along this. Uh, we got our gauge harness, our tag harness, some uh, it's a boost line, switches, power and ground to the switches, alternator and ECU. Well, wait. Alternator, alternator light. I don't know. I'm tripping. Sorry. Change from one solid fuse strip to two fuse strips. That way I can run more amps. And then I have two power wires. And I added a breaker that controls both the powers to each fuse strip as well as the ECU. That was actually really interesting. I like doing that. That way I don't have any problems with uh, overloading the amperage. I got a couple stickers. Uh, Casey from Shirts Tucked In got a little mini Nobury. And then I got his sight sticker on the window right there, which is pretty cool. I got some other team stickers from some guys in Japan that I like watching and stuff, uh, which will be here pretty soon. Let me show you guys this new thing that I bought for the car. It's pretty sick. It's probably the coolest thing I've owned um, in the entire car since I've had it. So let me show you guys. So I decided to go all out and spend way too much money on this bride seat. It's a bride Zeta 3. Uh, I think this is called the graduation logo. And I can now fit with my helmet in the car. Uh, the bolsters are actually really high up. I don't know if you can tell. A lot higher than the NRG. And the seat really kind of holds me in very, very tight. But not too tight. Like almost just perfect. Oh, this is the side stick I got from Casey. It's pretty sick. Yeah, I might do a time lapse or something. I'm just gonna go through, clip all these zip ties, tidy up this wiring a bit. I'm busy these days, man. I'm busy these days, man. All right. Yo, I wanted to come grab the horse. The, 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 the horse? Yeah. All right. Call me back later, man. Call me back later. Okay. All right, bro. Uh, <sighs> all right. It's so hot. It's so hot. It's so hot in Florida right now. It's, it's literally like it's it's too hot, bro. Uh. Fixing the wires, the way I routed them was kind of rushed. So this whole harness right here is for my tack, and if you look up here, it's kind of hard to really see anything. But you see all these wires are all going different types of ways, and there's one wire, this one that's like under that red wire so basically what i'm gonna do right now is disconnect this from the ground run it the right way basically i'm I'm extending this loom so you can see how neat it looks when it's loomed like that but when it gets here it's just actual wires and they start to get all messy these are kind of just sitting flying everywhere i don't like that i want them to be neat kind of like my ground wires right here 
my switches, which you can see are grouped together. I don't like the loose wires and stuff. So that's what I'm working on right now. It's hard for me to film because the GoPro dies like super fast. And um, I don't know, if I did a time lapse, I feel like it would just die. But I'll try it. I'm gonna try a time lapse right now, see how it comes out. progress right now so I threaded loom all the way down so the entire tack harness is loomed and then even the ground wire has loom on it and then I just taped up the loose wire so they're not hanging everywhere um, the stoplight harness or the brake light harness I loom that as well that looks really clean that's not cap Just figured out why we were having trouble starting the car. Because our alternator was barely charging, which I should have checked, I don't know why I didn't. But this is the alternator light, and um, without this, the alternator would not charge. And I was barely pulling, and look what just came out. Super easy. Where's the wire? I just finished. It looks pretty good. Everything's loomed now. Looks like something you'd buy off wire and specialties. Remember when I went back here and you could just see a bunch of, uh, not exposed, but like loose wires in a bunch of different colors? This looks a lot better. Uh, I kind of grouped these together more. Under here, it's not that bad. The, all these extra wires, these are actual harnesses for like the gauges and the tacks and all that. That's why it's so long. Also, these uh, battery wires, they used to go like this. And you can see them in the video when I'm doing like, I have the camera mounted in the back behind the seats, you can see that. And I don't like that. So I don't know how, but I'm gonna figure out a way to just get this kind of clipped or mounted up there so you can't really see it. I think that's gonna be all for today. I'm still waiting on Capel. I gotta get this hoist, get the motor out and start tearing that down. The jug, I'm gonna order the jug and the diaphragm pump for the water sprayer today. I can't actually set it up in the engine bay yet, so that's to figure out later on. Yeah. 